Hello YouTube, uh, this is a 5.7 engine, Toyota Sequoia, same engine on a Tundra. Uh, I just want to show you how to replace, how to fix, uh, as you can see, the back of the engine, it's wet. See the stains, in oil, greasy. Uh, I tried to keep wiping it, but it still comes back. So the problem is, I'm going to show you what the problem is. Here is the oil pan, as you can see, it's all greasy, wet. Let's see if I can get you better. I wiped it out many times, but its problem doesn't go away. So the problem is with the oil dipstick. Right there is the problem. Right there is the problem, dipstick, as you can see, trying to zoom in, some of the dipstick is wet, so that connection, the point right there where dipstick goes into engine block, there is a seal, that seal needs to be replaced. So if that's what's wet on your Toyota, maybe Lexus 57, replace the, replace the O-ring on the dipstick. But if it's not, or if the dipstick is dipstick tube is dry, then you have other problems. You have to look into it. So I'm gonna show you how to replace it. What steps you have to take it. Here is another view of the dipstick. So you guys can see that it's wet from the right side well well. See right there the tube, dipstick tube. And before you remove the tube, make sure it's all clean around it, you know, wipe all any grease out so nothing gets inside when you remove the dipstick see right there it's all wet that's where the problem is so and I'm going to show you a couple steps what else needs to happen this is from the wheel well side from the engine bay this is 5.7 as you guys can see uh, 5.7 V8 Toyota and dipstick. The dipstick itself I'm going to remove it so I can get to the tube and but, but before you can get the tube off there is a little bolt, there's a 10 millimeter bolt metric. I'm going to see if I can zoom in so you guys can see it. Right there is that bolt, 10 millimeters bolt. Right there. That's the bolt you have to remove to get the, tube stick, to get the dipstick tube out. So, this is the setup, 10 millimeter socket with a flex, the flexible extension, whatever it's called, ratchet. Because without this flexible, uh, flexible extension, uh, you're not going to get to it. There's just not enough room. So, one more thing. See that space around the tube? There's a good about probably 3-30 seconds, maybe 1-8 clean it very well because when you pull the dipstick out any dirt inside there will end up in, in your uh, oil you have two options either replace the oil or clean it around the tube use the air, napkins, rags take your time not to damage, not to scratch anything on the inside and just clean it very well so so the 10 millimeter bolt is out, as you can see there's a hole. Next thing I'm gonna try to I'm gonna show you the bolt itself. So, so here is the bolt, small bolt, not much to it. I'm gonna see if I can pull the tube out with my left hand. So you guys can see it. That is not much to it. You're gonna need a special tool to separate, see right right there. That is for the bolt location, and this is where that attaches the wire. Where I earlier said to cut, you don't cut. There is a, it's a clip that goes inside the hole. And let me show you what tool to use it, how to separate that. So this is the tool you would have to use, something like that. And you would carefully, uh, let me show you if I can, between the wires and this location here. Put it, twist it, and it will come out. I'm going to show you what's the wire 
around the wire. You see right there, that's that's what I was talking about. That piece for the wire clip. You can cut it if you want it, but or you can just you know using the tool you can remove it. So so the bolt came out, the clip came out, so the tube is right there as you can see it. I'm gonna see if I can just pull it out. It should come out easily with no yep. Adjust. Right there, it comes out with no no problems. I wish other cars were that easily. So let's take a quick look where the problem is. That o ring. That o ring needs to be replaced. Seems like they, they have a problem on the RS57. Or the actual problem. See right there? And this is the actual problem. During the installation, o ring was misplaced. And it was leaking. So we have a new o-ring, I'm going to show you the part number, you put that in on, you lube it, and you put it back. And this is the top of the tube, that hole right there, or that uh, mounting for the wire clip, that's with the bolt, and the bottom. So here is the difference, as you guys can see. The one that came out, damaged, and the new one, what it looks like. See the difference? So that's the reason for the having oil leaks in the back. And so, and here is the part number. It's relatively cheap. Right there. 9672119010. So this is the part number for this opening. The new overing is back. Put it on, as you can see. Next step, what I'm going to do, put some oil around it, and then I'm going to use the, that bag that it came. The bag, put this tube inside the bag, wrap it. When I put it underneath, when I get underneath, so I don't get any dirt on it. As you can see, I'm going to put it inside. Take so it with me underneath the vehicle. And install it. And I'm gonna put some tape or something so keep it, keep that overing in the tube clean so I don't get any dirt on the inside the engine. Installation is just the reverse of removing it. So the tube is in same way. I'm gonna show you from underneath what it looks like. Right there, you see that plastic wrapped around the tube. What I mentioned, so it doesn't get dirty. And so next step will be right there, it's next to the hole. Make sure the hole is clean, nothing in it, no dirt, and, and pretty much that's what it is. When you're about to put it inside the hole, the tube, dipstick tube, just apply a little bit of pressure until you hear clicks. Then you know it's all the way in. So, so now I put everything back together, put the dipstick itself back, the tube, the bolt that was there, right there you can see the edge, uh, the wires that's attached to the tube, right there, so everything is back, I'm gonna show you from underneath now, this is from the underneath the vehicle, right there as you can see, the tube is back, I'm gonna zoom in, uh, I'm going to wipe everything clean to verify the way it's designed it's kind of I think it's a poor engineering where you have a hole uh, like that big size you know uh, so the dirt can go inside there and you know collect and water and moisture so you name it so I'm going to wipe all that grease verify drive it and see how it is uh, if there is any other leaks so don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay stay tuned for another video. It's going to be coming out. There's going to be uh, more videos.